Hey my lovely YouTubers, it is me, Morgan Tracy J, coming today with the Women's Wednesday Chat, and today I am talking to you all about inspiration. Each of us need inspiration in our lives because when we start to lack an inspiration, every other area in our life starts to lack also. Eventually, if you start lacking an inspiration so much, you will eventually see your walk with God, your passions, your desires, and all that stuff to just start lacking also. And you don't want to go through that. So today I want to talk to the girl out there, the lady out there, the young woman out there, the daughter of God out there that is not willing to step into her calling. The one that is afraid to bring those ideas and those visions to life. The one that's afraid to be set apart and step into the unknown territory with God. The one that's been playing around with her calling and knowing she should be probably going a little more harder, but she just kind of kind of comfortable, okay? I am calling her out today because guess what? God is calling up a daughters with a strong backbone. He is calling up a daughters that are willing to be set apart. God is calling up daughters that isn't focused on this world, but more focused on his love and his calling for their life versus what they want for themselves. God is calling up daughters daughters that are willing to stand bold for him. God is calling you daughter, okay? He wants you to stand in that vision, stand in that calling, utilize those gifts and those talents that he's given you, but a lot of times fear will hold us back. Like the girl who can sing so beautiful, but she'd rather only sing in her bedroom or around that one friend. The girl that has creative talent so well, but she only does it for herself and never shows it and shares it with other people. Today, God is calling you out and he is saying, start to use your gifts the way that I have called you to use them. Stop being so afraid to step out with me. I am God. I am your protector. I am your healer. I am your guide. I am your path. Trust me, God, because I am trying to get you to a new territory. I'm trying to get you to a higher place but you're so afraid to move that you're actually sitting stuck comfortable when there's something so much far better for you if you would just move. A lot of people wonder why people um, don't have fear. How did she do that? Why is she so cur courageous? Where did she get this boldness from? It's because the fear that we feel, we go and we pray about it. Courage is only fear that has been prayed over. We pray over our fear because guess what? Fear is every day for me. Fear is every time I turn on a camera. Fear is every time I get into an intimate conversation with people knowing I have to show some of my truths, okay? There's pieces of fear. So what I want to tell you today is you must step out of that fear. You must be willing that when you feel that fear, you push past that doubt and you step into the, the walk, the calling, the gift that God has told you to step into. You have have to be willing to be audaciously bold for God. You have to have the faith to say, God, I will stand with you even when naysayers come against me. God, I will be your daughter and I will stand with you even when people say I look crazy or I'm dumb or all these other areas when I look like a bum, when I'm believing crazily. I'm going to believe you, Lord. I'm going to stand with you. And that's what God is calling up. He is calling up daughters that aren't afraid to step into their gifts, that's not afraid to share what he has called them to share, that's not afraid to do what he has called them to do. God is calling up you daughter to not be afraid of the arrows that come each and every day in our lives but to be willing to stand with God and see God in your life and to believe that there is something greater and more powerful that God has for you than what you are settling for today there is so much more that God wants to give us but a lot of times we are not willing to release our grasp on what we have so we can't even grab a hold to the new what I'm telling you today is release your grasp on the areas of your comfortability release your grasp on the areas of how you do things in your everyday life God when he calls you into new territory your discipline has to change. Your lifestyle begins to change. Your mind changes. The way you clean your room every day will start to change. Little small details on how you walk and how you talk will start to change. God is calling up daughters that are willing to change for his glory. So what I'm calling you today, daughter, I'm saying change. Be, get out of that fear. Get out of the box that's saying, I can't do this. I am unworthy. I am not. I cannot walk into that. Morgan, you're just, you talk so well. I can't do what you do. That's okay. God might not be calling you to do what I do. But he's got a specific gift and a specific technique. And he's so strategic on the way he does things that he has something inside of you that he wants you to start to share. There is something inside of you that is actually not only going to benefit your life, but it's going to benefit the life of others. So daughters, stand up today. Don't be afraid. Don't, don't get so caught up in fear and in your mind of doubt that you don't never move. God is saying move. This is a time to not only be inspired, but to, to see the destructions going on in the world to say, God, I got to do more. This is what that this is what it should do. It should spark a hunger in you, a fire to say, God, I want to do more. So to the daughter that is afraid, that won't move on her calling, that is nervous, that says it can't be me. 
I can't do this. I'm unworthy. I'm not good enough to do this. I'm not pretty enough, skinny enough, talented enough. To that daughter, the daughter with the vision, the daughter with the talent, the daughter with all those amazing ideas, you daughter, you're God's daughter. He expects you to move, to move on the things that he has given you, to move on the hungers and the desires that he's placed deep down inside of you, even the convictions that lie within your heart when you're not doing what he's called you to do. God is expecting you to move. Well, guys, I really hope you got blessed by this video. But before you go, I have some freebies for you guys. For all my beautiful ladies, I have a devotional called Arise. 30 days devotional. A 30-day devotional called Inspiration for Your Calling. This is a devotional that's going to inspire you to step not only into your calling, but even to put fear in its place, to get to the times where you need to be alone with God and understand the vision even more clear. This devotional is literally something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and it just I just knew it was the right time. So today, if you head over to His Daughter's Closet, you can download the free 30-day devotional called arise this devotional you can download it to your phone or your computer and read it each and every day and i'm going to be reading it also and we and i'm going to be doing some posts on my website about these devotionals and it's going to not only benefit you but even you can share it on social media it's going to help anybody that is looking to step into their calling and to be inspired to do so all right I love you, ladies. You know I love you so much. I will see you in my next Women's Wednesday chat. You know I love you. I hope you got inspired by this video, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.